गुड मॉर्निंग मैं सर डॉक्टर मृणाल आकरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द्रवेगुण ग्लोबल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आयुर्वेदा वी आर गोइंग टू सी नवर फार्म नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन आवर फार्मेकोलॉजिकल सीरीज दैट इज डिमल्सेंट्स एंड एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स लास्टली वी हैव सीन अबाउट रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट ड्रग्स एक्सपेक्टो ब्रोंकोडाइलेटर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज डिमल्सेंट्स एंड एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स generally when we see about uh, uh, drug use drugs that are used on cough uh, what is cough cough it is a protective reflex its pr- purpose being expulsion of respiratory secretions or foreign particles from air passages it occurs due to stimulation of mechano or chemo receptors in throat respiratory passage or stretch receptors in lungs cough may be useful or unless uh useless non productive cuff should be suppressed useful means that is productive cuff serves to uh, drain the airway its suppression is not desirable may even be harmful except if uh, the amount of uh, expectoration achieved is small compared to the effort of continuous coughing apart from specific remedies that are antibiotics and uh, other things specific uh, cough may be treated as a symptom, uh, symptom non specific therapy with pharyngeal demulcents now pharyngeal demulcent contains longes cough drops linctus uh, then glycerin licorice licorice that is uh, extract of gestimer expectorants expectorants are also termed as mucokinetics these expectorants are uh, classified as bronchial secretion may uh, enhance mucolytics then antitussive antitussive means uh, cough center suppressant these are opioids non opioids and antihistamines and adjuvant antitussive medicines now we will see about demulcents and expectorants generally pharyngeal demulcent soothe the throat and reduce afferent impulse from the inflamed irritated pharyngeal mucosa thus provide symptomatic uh, relief in dry cough raising from the throat now expectorant muco- mucokinetics are drugs believed to increase bronchial secretion or reduce its viscosity facilitating its removal from cough generally sodium and potassium citrate are considered to increase bronchial secretion by salt action salt mechanism potassium iodide is secreted by bronchial glands and can irritate the airway mucosa prolonged use can affect thyroid function and produce iodism it is rarely used now generally uh, gufenzin vasca tolu uh, balsam are some plants which are pre- uh, su- supposed to enhance bronchial secretion and mucolary function which being secreted by tracheo bronchial glands ammonium salts are also there generally vasaka means adursa the it is an uh, herbal plant medicinal plant ammonium salts are uh, nauseating reflexly increase respiratory secretions by variety of expectorants functions containing an assorted of ingredients that is antitussive antihistaminic are marked briefly which are used now this is the classification of uh, cough uh, dry cough drugs pharyngeal demulcents expectorants then antitussive then adjuvant antitussives hmm? antitussive contains opioid which is uh, generally which are the sleep uh, inducing antitussive and non opioids means they do not induce sleep even antihistaminics they produce somewhat sleep because they act on <coughs> cns system they are generally cough center suppressant now specific up treatment approaches to cough the apart from using this antidepressive demer some specific uh, treatments are used in cough means uh, when there is upper and lower respiratory tract infection we use uh, antibiotics they which are we are we will see in next topic smoking chronic bronchitis and bronchic taxis in this cessation of smoking uh, and avoidance of pollutant 
steam inhalation, postural drainage, they are used. Permolo pulmonary tuberculosis, anti-tubercular drug. Asthmatic cough, if there is asthmatic cough, then we will use inhaled B2 agonist, corticosteroids and ipratropium that we have seen B2 in antagonist in last lecture, that is bronchodilators. Cough in pulmonary eosinophilia. In that, we will use diethyl carbamazine citrate inhaled corticosteroids. Then post nasal drip due to sinusitis. Those persons who are uh, having uh, suffering from sinusitis, for them we will use antibiotic nasal decongestant HI histaminic, antihistaminic. Sorry. Then post nasal drip due to allergic or perennial rhinitis. Those who are having allergic rhinitis. For them, we will, you, uh, we will advise them to avoid factors that are causing allergy. Corticosteroid nasal spray we will use and we will uh, uh, prescribe H1 antihistaminic drugs. In gastroesophageal reflux, we will uh, give bed air head elevation, dinner, uh, light dinner, diet modification, H2 blocker, proton pump inhibitor and musapride. Generally, these all are uh, acid uh, decay or acid uh, blocking acid secretion. <coughs> then ACE inhibitor. Sometime uh, ACE, uh, due to ACE inhibitors, na, cuff is uh, introduced. So we will uh, substitute ACE inhibitor by losartan and SAIDs uh, that may reduce ACE inhibitor cuff. Post viral cuff. When there is viral infection, due to that viral infection, there may be cuff which will be treated by specific treatment of virus, antiviral medicines. Now we will see about mucolytics. What are mucolytics? Generally mucolytics, uh, we have seen its definition. In that mucolytics, uh, bromhexine, ambroxol, acetylcysteine and carbocysteine are the drugs of choice. Bromhexine, it is a derivative of alkaloid vasicine obtained from Adathoda vasica, that is vasa. It is a potent mucolytic and mucokinetic which is capable of in, uh, inducing thin copious bronchial secretion. It uh, depolymer, uh, depolymerized mucopolysaccharides uh, directly as well as by liberating lysosomal enzymes. Network of fiber is tenacious sputum is broken. It is uh, particularly useful in mucus plugs are present if they are present. Its side effects are rhinorrhea and lacrimination, gastric irritation and hypersensitivity. In adult it is given 8 mg TDS, in children it is given 4 mg BD and uh, above 5 to 10 years in children it is given 4 mg BD. Its market preparation are bromhexine, vasicine and other things. Uh, this brom uh, mucolytic agent what they do, they uh, stimulate uh, secretion of cuff and they break the chain of uh, mucus plug due to which that uh, attached that sticked mucus plug in respiratory tract will expel out of the body. Now next is Ambroxol. Ambroxol it is a metabol it, uh, it is a metabolite of bromhexine only having similar mucolytic action. Then acetylcysteine. Acetylcysteine it, it opens desulfide bonds in mucoprotein present in sputum makes it less whisker but has to be administered directly into the respiratory tract that's why this uh, acetylcysteine we have its uh, uh, inhalation available or uh, we can uh, use it in nebulization then other drug is carbocysteine this carbo carbocysteine it liquefies viscid sputum in the same way as acetylcysteine and it is administered orally at a dose of 250 to 750 mg TDS. Some patient of chronic bronchitis have seen shown benefit side effects are GIT irritation and rashes. Its trade name are available like uh, mucodine and carbomox. Generally uh, it is available in combination with amoxicillin or cephalexin for treatment of bronchiitis, bronchitis, bronchiectitis and sinusitis. Our next drugs are antitussive. Antitussive these are the drugs that act in 
uh, in the CNS to raise the threshold of cuff center or act peripherally in the respiratory tract to reduce tussle impulse or both these action because they aim to control rather than eliminate cuff. Antitussive should be used only in dry unproductive cuff. When there is dry cuff, unproductive cuff means balgam nahi aara hai to aise samay pe hum log antitussives use karenge. Antitussive se kya hoga ki ye puri respiratory tract ko soothe karega jiske karan jo irritation vagre hoti hai wo irritation kam hogi. Generally this uh, they aim to control rather than eliminate cuff. Antitussive should be used in only dry unproductive cuff or if cuff is unduly trying disturb sleep or in hazardous hernia, piles, cardiac diseases, ocular surgeries. At that time we will use this antitussives. Next are opioids. Opioids are the derivative of opium. Uh, they are alkaloids of opium. Now uh, an opium alkaloid qualitatively similar to but less potent than morphine. It is more selective for cuff centers and it treated as the standard antitussive suppress curve for about 6 hours. The antitussive action is blocked by an alexon indicating that it is excreted through opioid receptor in brain. Abuse liability is low but present constipation in chief drawbacks. At higher dose respiratory depression and drowsiness can occur. Driving may be impaired. So after giving this opium derivatives we will uh, advise patient that not to drive. Like morphine it is contraindicated in asthmaticus and uh, in patient with diminished respiratory reserve. Last lecture we have seen that how uh, means uh, morphine is contraindicated for bronchodilator. Similarly uh, here in status asthmaticus we will avoid codeine. Now the brand name of codeine in children dose are 10 to 30 milligram uh, for uh, at about 2 to 6 years and 2.5 to 5 milligram for 6 to 12 years and 5 to 10 milligram can be given in adults. Codeine syrup is available, codeine tablet is available. Next is folocodine. Uh, it is a derivative of codeine only. Uh, it has partially no analgesic or addicting property but it is similar in efficacy as antitussive to codeine and is no longer acting as for 12 hours. Ethene is, the, ethene is its brand name. Now next is, next other drug is ethylomorphine. Now this ethylomorphine it is uh, closely related to codeine which is uh, methylmorphine uh, and has antitussive uh, respiratory depressant property like it but believed to having constipation uh, dose 10 to 30 milligram TDS and dianoidine uh, 16 milligram tablet is given so these are all opioid derivatives now next we will see about non opioid derivatives generally non opioid in non opioid derivatives we have uh, dexomethorphan, chlorphenidol, then uh, nascopine. Hmm? These are the drugs which are non-opoid. Generally nascopine. Nascopine it is a narcotin and opium alkaloid only but uh, it is having benzoisoquilinine series. Hmm? It depresses cuff but has no narcotic analgesic and dependence inducing property. It is nearly equ equipotent antitussive or ascodine, specially useful in spasmodic cuff. Headache and nausea occurs occasionally are the are its side effects. Then uh, it can release histamine and produce bronchoconstriction in asthmatic patient. So it is not uh, uh, advisable in asthmatic patient. Its dose is 15 to 30 milligram in children's. 6 to 2 6 years, uh, 7.5 milligram to ch in children at about age of 6 to 12 years and 15 milligram in adults. Dext uh, dextromethorphan, uh, it is a synthetic compound of D-isomer which has having antitussive action. 
it raises threshold of curve center while uh, L isomer is analgesic dexamethorphan is an uh, effective ascodine does not depress the mucosillary function of the airway it is uh, practically devoid of constipating and addicting action the antidepressive action lasts for 6 hours and uh, is not blocked by naloxone therefore not uh, exerted through opioid receptor its side effects are dizziness nausea drowsiness ataxia dose is 10 to 20 mg in ch uh, children at about 3 to 6 years 2.5 to 5 mg and 6 to 12 years 5 to 10 mg clofenafedinol this uh, it is having uh, antidepressive with slow onset and longer duration of action but its side effects are dryness of mouth, vertigo and irritability so uh, this was about uh, our topic today's topic demulcent and expectorants we will meet with next topic in next lecture thank you